Oh, welcome back, guys. Lynn manuel Miranda is a Broadway legend known, of course, for his hits Hamilton and In the Heights. Well, now he's bringing the stage to the big screen. It's his feature film directorial debut. It's called Tick, Tick, Boom. It's based on the autobiographical musical, focusing on the life of Rent composer Jonathan Larson and Lynn manuel It is so good to see you. Love having you here. Good to see you. In the flesh. It's, I mean, it's been like a pandemic yeah. since we've seen I know. you. It's nice mm -hmm. to see you guys. Well, this is getting rave reviews. Mm -hmm. I can only imagine how exciting, exhilarating, and relieving that is yeah. because not only is it your first time being a director, this show means so much yes. to you personally. Yeah. This story means so much to you personally. Yeah, absolutely. I, I saw um, the off-Broadway version of Tick, Tick, Boom when I was 21 years old. I was a senior in college. Mm. It was the month after the events of September 11th, and I was a theater major, and what do I have to offer the world? And here is this early musical from the guy who inspired me to write musicals in the first place, Jonathan Larson, and it was just sort of like... It's hard. <laughs> it was like a personal mm -hmm. message about telling what you're trying to do is very difficult. But if you if you're okay with the world not noticing and you're just doing it because you love it, like it was a very clarifying experience for me. And so it was it means the world to be able to bring it to the and screen. And even at 17, you sat in the back row and watched Rent. I mean, Rent was the thing that just moved you to your core and kind of propelled you into this. Yeah, didn't it? it was the most diverse cast I'd ever seen yeah. on Broadway. It gave me hope I could be on Broadway yeah. one day. It was the most contemporary music I'd ever heard. Mm -hmm. It was about artists sort of struggling to survive, and it just felt, it, it felt like, oh, you're allowed to make a musical as personal as, as any other art form, yeah. and it's, it's what got me writing. Mm -hmm. Everyone says how hard it is to bring theater mm -hmm. to film, and it is, and you actually took it from, you know, it started as a one-man show, then it was a three-person mm -hmm. show, and then through film, you've been able to expand this world even more. How fun was that? Mm -hmm. It was really fun and it was really exciting because um, to take Tick, Tick, Boom out of the, off the stage and into the screen, you get to go to New York in 1990. You get, you know, I was a kid who grew up in the city. Like, I remember that time very well. And, um, you know, Scott Schwartz and David Auburn did such an amazing job with the, the three-person version that I saw off-Broadway. Um, that was starring the brilliant Raul Esparza. Um, and, you know, I have the incredible Andrew Garfield just embodying Jonathan Larson. We were able to film on location in the places that meant so much to the you, real Jonathan. You picked Andrew Garfield, and you had no idea whether he could sing. In fact, he said that you asked him, like, if you if he wanted to be in it, and could he sing, and could he play the piano? He gave you a yes because he knew it would be a year until yeah. filming. It was like a yes ish, yes. the way he tells ish. the story. Yeah. Like, well, and when it's yeah. time to film, I will be able to. Were you concerned? Like, maybe he couldn't? No, I wasn't no. concerned at all. I just I saw him in Angels in America yeah. and was just like, that guy can do anything. He's just had his heart open to us for eight hours straight. Mm. It's such a feat of endurance. I knew I needed someone who lived and breathed the theater to play this role yeah. because Jonathan lived and breathed yeah. the theater and Andrew just embodied all of that. But yeah. still, I mean, that's a big, yeah. big bet to place on someone even that you admire so much. Andrew told, first of all, he sings yes. incredibly yeah. well. He's, like, he's, it's he's, actually he's, not fair. Now yeah. he has too many talents. Yeah. You're almost angry yeah, I'm about starting, it. Yeah, I'm starting the Andrew Garfield for Fierro and Wicked. Yeah, I mean, it's like, it's right insane. Now. But he told this funny story. He was here earlier this week that you had snuck into one of his rehearsals with his vocal coach. He didn't even know you were there, and he's singing and practicing. And all of a sudden, he said, he, he sees a shoe fly toward yeah. him. And it was your what, shoe. What was that? Toward and what does that mean? Like, said, what is the Lin Manuel yeah. no, shoe? That, that started with the In the Heights cast years ago. That's yeah. when someone sings, sings. Yes. You like the only thing left to do is just throw so your you shoe throw or your put shoe? it on the table. Yeah. Like you just you 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 ate it. You yeah. destroyed it. Mm -hmm. I just saw you give your shoes to complete strangers. Yeah. <laughs> favorite so. part of the I show. Was, I was doing a, I was doing the Lin Manuel. <laughs> I was like, you're you're great. If not Andrew, then who? Like if he was not. Able I had to, no plan B. You didn't. <laughs> no, I just I knew that if I gave him. You know, when I, when I asked him uh, if he could sing, he said, that's a part of myself I've always wanted to explore but haven't had the chance to. And I knew if he was excited about doing it and I gave him the time and the resources, he would he would rise to the occasion because he always has. I just, like, Lynn, we feel so connected to you because, you know, like before Hamilton and after Hamilton and just this beautiful journey mm -hmm. that you've been on. But how exciting to see you try something totally yes. new. Yeah. And was that terrifying? Well, it's terrifying now. Yeah. Um, you know, it's funny. As you're making the movie, you're just making a lot of decisions. As the director, you're the final decision maker. And so 
Um, you know, I was just thinking, like, honoring Jonathan Larson, what would Jonathan Larson do every step of the way? But your personal stuff seeps into those mm -hmm. decisions. I remember showing the movie to my, one of my best friends, Kiara, who wrote In the Heights with mm. me. She saw the first rough cut, and they cut to John's apartment, and she goes, Lynn, that's your bedroom. <laughs> that's exactly what your bedroom looked like Holy at moment. 25. <laughs> and I just was like... Oh my God, wow. this movie's so personal. And it's and like without my realizing it, in, in a lot of ways, it's the most wow. personal thing I've ever made. It wow. is. There's mm -hmm. multiple layers to it. It's really yes. exciting. Congratulations Thank you, to you. Thanks for coming. How are those little me. boys? They are fantastic. Mm -hmm. I did um, I did freestyle with Jimmy last night, oh. and so my son was testing me this morning with Pokemon cards. Oh. Um, he was like, rhyme Jigglypuff, Mewtwo, and, and I was just like, this is way harder. That wow. is a real challenge. Really All cool. those named Pikachu, yeah. Charmian, I know. Yeah. We're in the Pokemon phase yeah, ourselves. Just going through the folder, getting yeah. stumped. <laughs> Thanks, Lynn. Thank you so much, and we know there will be a lot more stories to share. You're going to sit down with Willie mm. on Sunday today. Be That'll fun. be a good one. And we should mention, guys, Tick, Tick, Boom in select theaters now, streaming on Netflix tomorrow. And one of its stars, Vanessa Hudgens, is stopping by our third hour in just a bit. All right. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.